With that down and out of the way, let's move on now to our final main topic of the day before we go on to our live questions. And our final main topic today comes to us from Samuel Pole, who writes, Hey, crew. John said it yesterday, but because Disney's slate alone will make 2019 the biggest box office in history, I think it's highly likely that Disney also grabs all five of the top worldwide grosses. They have Toy Story, Captain Marvel, Endgame, Frozen 2, Lion King, and Star Wars movie. My question is, what movie, if any, could slide its way into the top five not made by Disney? Disney. All right. Thanks a lot for the question, man. And you know what? Samuel raises a great point. We've been talking a lot about how 2019 is by all indications going to be the biggest year ever for the box office. There's never going to have been a bigger year. And Disney is going to have the biggest year of any studio in history. That's pretty much a foregone conclusion. With movies like Endgame, Star Wars, Lion King. I mean, these are locking up most of the big spots. But it's an interesting question. Are there some non-Disney movies, movies that don't have a Pixar or Disney animation or a Lucasfilm or a Marvel sub-brand name in front of it, are there any movies this year that stand a legitimate chance of when we get to the end of 2019 of being in the top five grossing films of the year not called Disney? I believe there's a chance. Now, now, let's take a look at this. First of all, let's go down to the very bottom here. Captain Marvel is already in the books, right? Captain Marvel has already joined the Brie, they're calling it, as in Brie Larson, the Brillion Dollar Club. Uh, Brillion Dollars, it's made $1.04 billion. It's already done its run. Interesting thing to note here. No billion dollar film in history has ever failed to be in the top five of its year. Just, just an interesting note there. No film that has ever made a billion dollars has ever failed to crack the top five at the box office for its respective year. Now, on one hand, you think, well, obviously, but hey, there have been a couple years where all top five films have been billion dollar films, but never once has a billion dollar film not cracked the top five. This could be that year because Captain Marvel has made over a billion and it might not end up in the top five. Wrap your head around that. Captain Marvel has made a billion dollars in the box office and it might not be in the top five by the end of the year. Never happened before, but it could happen here because let's look at some of these potential top five movies. Look, those first three listed there, Endgame, Star Wars Episode Nine, Lion King. To me, that is a lock. Those are your top three movies of the year, <clears throat> box office wise. In whatever order, I don't. I still think there's an outside shot. Lion King could be the number one box office film of the year. Most likely, Avengers Endgame will be the number one box office film of the year. I think Star Wars Episode Nine is going to very comfortably come in the third spot there. So there's your top three. That only leaves you two more spots. Toy Story 4. The last Toy Story was a billion-dollar film. Is there any reason to believe that this one won't be either? It might not be. But Toy Story 4. Frozen. Frozen is the number one animated film of all time. Is there any reason to believe that Frozen 2, which, by the way, had a great first trailer, like even a lot of people who are not looking forward to Frozen 2 were pretty stoked by that first Frozen 2 trailer, right? That was a pretty damn good trailer. Is there any reason to believe that that thing's not going to make a billion? What about Hobbs and Shaw? You know, the Fast and Furious franchise has shown that they can create billion-dollar films. I think Hobbs and Shaw is going to be big. I think that's got a shot at the top five. It Chapter 2, the first It made $700 million. Everybody loved it. Can it get up into that billion-dollar thing? It's possible. It's got to make up $300 million to get to a billion. That's a big gap, but I still think it's possible. Maybe not likely, though. What about the Joker movie? A lot of people seem to think Joker has a possibility for a billion. I don't see it. Uh, like I said, I don't even know that it'll beat uh, Shazam's opening weekend. So I'm, I'm not so sure there. Jumanji, that's got to be a serious contender. The first Jumanji with The Rock came this close to getting in the billion dollar club. It was just, just, just shy of a billion dollars. High 900 millions. And everybody loved it. I think it's pretty safe to assume that this new Jumanji movie will crack that billion dollar club, putting it in the running for top five. Another Disney film, Aladdin. Look, a lot of people haven't been thrilled with the trailers, 
Fact of the matter is, there's a huge nostalgia factor with Aladdin. Will Smith is not the box office draw that he used to be, but he's still a legitimate box office draw. Maybe it's not as big as he used to be, but still a draw. You got to consider that. The, the trailers for Godzilla, particularly these last batch of trailers and scenes they've released, look stupid good. Now, granted, neither the first Godzilla nor the King Kong Skull Island uh, movies came anywhere close to a billion. I got to think this Godzilla one might have a chance. And then, of course, you got Spider-Man Far From Home. Spider-Man Homecoming, beloved, made in the 800 millions. Can it get into the billion thing? Absolutely could. So it becomes a very crowded space here when you're talking about getting a non-Disney film into the top five especially if you are like me and you consider the top three spots are already all locked up with Lion King, Star Wars Episode Nine, and Endgame in no particular order. That leaves two spots left, and Captain Marvel has already made a billion. I would say this. I think our two best chances for getting a non-Disney film in the top five at the end, end of the year I don't think it's Godzilla. I don't think it's It Chapter 2. I don't think it's Joker. I think they lie with Hobbs and Shaw and with Jumanji. Our, our hope lies in Dwayne The Rock Johnson, basically. I think those two movies have the potential to, first of all, they automatically have to get into the Billion Dollar Club. But by getting there, have the potential to outdo even Captain Marvel's 1.4 or, or 1.04. So, yeah, because Toy Story 4 is going to be strong contender, Frozen 2, Aladdin, Spider-Man Far From Home. There's a lot of stuff here, guys, with a Captain Marvel being there. So that's what I think. I think the best chances here are Hobbs and Shaw and Jumanji. Probably give a slight edge to Jumanji uh, as getting into the top five. What do you guys think? Do you guys think there is any chance that a non-Disney film can be in the top five at the box office at the end of the year. I believe there are a couple of contenders. Do you think there are? Do you agree with mine? Do you think, am I missing a movie? It's possible I might be forgetting about a big movie. Jump down to the comments section below and let me know what you guys think.